All right, here we are. A looking inside the fireplace. I haven't cleaned it out yet. Um, and uh, uh, I guess we'll start uh, and see the bricks that uh, were broken here. And that's uh, an old one. And there's a nice brand new one. So same size. So that should be good. I said that I don't need this insulation was up top uh, up inside the lid up there and the guys at the fireplace said uh, to not replace this insulation um, because they want to keep the airflow the, uh, the fire builds up in here and then it goes through once we put all the fire brick back up top the the um, heat goes up through here above this uh, heat exchanger thing that I'm putting uh, back in, the new one that I just showed you, um, and then it goes up and out the chimneys. And they say if we fill that cavity up too much, it could restrict the flow of air. So they're recommending not putting the insulation uh, back in. So I am going to follow their directions and uh, these ones went now that I look at them they might go on along the back there so these ones will have to go back in I have a diagram somewhere but uh, you can see the uh, the build up in here and since I'm here cleaning it all up I want to reach in there and try and clean that up and get that stuff out of there as much as possible and uh, you know I've gone this far might as well go a little bit further All right, so we're looking back inside the stove here, and you'll see there's three holes in the side of this channel here. And, uh, and the, it, in those three holes, let me come back out, is where this guy goes into. Um, and uh, it fits, uh, those, pull, those uh, poles go right up inside there and uh, see if I can get a shot of that. Kind of hard for me to video and um, in <laughs> such tight quarters and get this up in there at the same time. Um, but I uh, got it inside of there. Let's see if I get the camera. The spot here that will stay. So, first thing I'm going to do is lift this up on the other side, which you can't see. And over here, you can see that they got to go in the same holes and pulls the other way. But this side has a metal stop on it, so it bottoms out. 
and then we have oh, shoot. <laughs> Should have hooked these guys up. There's a clip. Or a uh, ring. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah. Right up there that these hook into. One on this side and one on the other side. So I'm going to have to pull this thing back out of those holes. Hook that guy up into there. And, uh, these pipe clamps and slide all the way over to the wall and tighten up and that keeps this thing from ever sliding back that direction so, all right after a lot of a lot of digging I finally got this broken brick from the back here out I should be able to Place it with that. How I keep that up against the back is a different story. Maybe I'll take this little piece of rock. Kind of jam in there. And then I these pieces here, I believe. Sit up top, one there. And Of the back wall. That side wall is okay. I'll start laying in the, the top. So, got the back wall in. Got my upper bricks laid on top of the new heat exchanger or whatever that's called. And the purpose of that is the heat builds up here then comes up and goes up and over the brick and out the chimney. So there we go. That's uh, it's ready for the door. All right, try this again. Um, so now they got the tip, uh, made the tip a little bit bigger. Um, I won't struggle with it quite as much. This adhesive has been drying for over an hour. So I'm gonna apply, it says no, no more than an eighth of an inch. So we'll do just what it says. We'll keep it at an eighth of an inch, spread it out. I get enough on the sides. All right, I have a liberal amount of this material through here. I'm gonna just start it right here. I'm gonna press it down onto the adhesive. Nice firm area there. Make sure those corners are done good. Press it around. Go around that bend. Can't see that, but I'll do that. Of. I knew that was going to happen. I was going to be a little bit 
longer, um, which is which is perfect. And then I'm going to come back and trim this. It's getting a trim it a little long, and I think I'll squirt a little extra adhesive. down in here to get that corner secure nice snug fit that should be that wipe off the excess they have on here and theoretically we should be good to go to hang it up okay moment of truth had a hard time getting this That's it. Wow. That is beautiful. Rebuilt. With fingerprints and all. <laughs> so we'll wait till tomorrow and uh, fire it up. Woo! Well, here we are. Uh, the fire started. Um, my seal on my door appears to be working pretty good. No leaks. It was interesting watching the uh, the smoke build up, and then I pulled this lever out down here, and it you could see the the change in the smoke going down the glass, so that it was pulling the uh, air down and in and uh, into the fire. Um, so that appears to be, I guess, part of the damper um, that I appear to be missing on the uh, ducting because I, I from what I remember growing up I pot billy stoves that my parents had we had a little damper that you kind of turned down and it basically helped keep the fire going all night long um, so there we are looks pretty good seems to be working no smoke in the room pretty happy <laughs>